G'day! In today's video, I'm opening up a Dell XPS. This one has the model number of P71G or p 710 g 1 And to begin with, we're going to need a Torx screwdriver. I'm not too sure what, what size just yet. There we go, that one easily fits. We are a T4 Torx screw. Now let's see if all these are mostly the same. So far, these ones at the front are all the same. And opening it up just to disconnect the battery because it is having some issues at the moment. I think resetting the battery will help it. And we'll also see what's upgradable in here while we're there. So, so far, all those screws have been the same. Looking under here, we also have one other Phillips head screw smack banging in the middle. And do that one too. He's being very stubborn and not wanting to leave. There we go. We're out. Now from here, I'm not sure if we'll start at the back or the front. I'll try at the back. So I'll get my nail in there. As you can see, it's already starting to lift. So just follow that around. There we go. And we're in. So from here, I'm simply wanting to disconnect the battery, which is here. We'll zoom in. There we go. So we do have a low powered processor in here. I'm not sure this one's an i7 700 or 7000 series. So I'm assuming that's a vapor chamber there for it. So I'm not gonna touch that at all. I wanna go over to here to the battery and I wanna pull these two tabs back. And lift that up. Now get the battery disconnected. If you do want to upgrade the NVMe drive, that's also relatively straightforward. Granted, you will have to reinstall Windows or clone your software prior. This should lift up. One more screw over here. And this is a copper cooler on top of it, which has probably got a thermal pad in between it. I'll wiggle it back a bit. We're out. So lift that over. We have a thermal pad on here. We have a SK Hynix Gen 3 NVMe 512 gig. So not bad. That there simply slots in on a 45 degree angle and pull it down to lock it into position. So I'll push that in first. In, wiggle it a bit more. It's been a bit stubborn on this one. So probably only about a 20 degree angle and then drop it down should sit flush like that. Once we've got it into that position, we're right to put the cooler over the top, like so. And put those Phillips head screws back into position. So that could be changed to pretty much any Gen 3 NVMe SSD. Gen 4, as long as it's backwards compatible. And then from here, there's really not much else that's upgradable. The battery itself is a 45 watt hour battery, as you can read this there. But this is also replaceable. Granted, finding decent quality batteries is challenging. So being that this has type C charging ports, if you do damage a charging port, you should be able to use the other side unless you've shortened the pins, which then potentially will rule out both of them. So do be careful with the charging ports as they aren't easily repaired but they are also your type C ports that are on here. So I'm gonna put the battery back in, which just slides in and you can kind of pull it forward. And that's how it should look like when it's connected. And put the bottom back on. It should also be equally straightforward. Sit it on top and then just pull it together. Should make some popping noises. Go, put our Phillips head screw back in. And then do the T4s, work your way around the laptop. Don't be concerned about the size of the screws as they are all the same size. So really all you can upgrade in this particular laptop is the SSD and you can replace the battery if need be. It is designed to be a fairly lightweight machine. 
as it is an XPS, which is usually their premium brand of bells. And I'm going to catch you guys later. So have a good one. Bye. Oh, God.